In this tutorial, I'll take you through the basics of Windows Live Movie Maker. I'll teach you how to manage your files, import and edit media, and share your final video. First, let's talk about file management. When you open Windows Live Movie Maker, immediately save your project file. It's crucial that you keep all files associated with your video in the same place at all times. To save a project file, click Save Project As. I recommend saving your project file in the same location as the media you will use for your project. When your final project is finished, I'll show you how to save your video file, but I'll come back to that later. Next, let's talk about importing and editing images. Click Add Videos and Photos, and then choose the folder where your images are saved. You can select one image or several images at a time. Once the images are in your viewer, you can reorganize them however you would like by dragging and dropping. Notice that when you add an image or video, the Video Tools icon appears above. By clicking it, you can change the duration of that image on screen. Also, to add effects, you can click the Visual Effects tab. This tab gives you the option to add several kinds of effects to your images. Also, you can click Animations to add pans and zoom, as well as to add transitions between images. Video and audio work in a very similar way in Movie Maker. To add a video, go to your Home tab and then to Add Videos and Photos and select your file. With video, you can add all the same effects as you could to still images. However, if you click the Video tab, you'll notice that you can now change the video's volume, add fades, split the video into multiple parts, and use the Trim tool to trim the video. With the Trim tool, you can control when the video starts and ends. So, if the first 15 seconds of this video are not something I want, I can set the video to start at 15 seconds in. To add audio, go back to the Home tab and then click Add Music, which will allow you to select an audio file. Again, this should be in the same place as the rest of your media. Notice that the audio adds an extra layer on top of your video and images, and you can move it around manually. Also, a Music Tools icon appears above. By clicking it, I can do many of the same things as with video, such as changing the volume, adding fades, splitting the audio into multiple parts, and controlling starting and ending points for the audio file. Adding titles, captions, and credits is probably your easiest task in Movie Maker. Simply go to the Home tab and click Title. At this point, notice that your interface is basically the same as Microsoft Word. We can type in text, we can change fonts, and we can even change our background color. Notice that your text is added as a red layer, much like your audio, that you can move around manually. If I go to the text tools, I can change the duration of my text here, as well as add effects that change how the text appears on screen. The same concepts apply if I add captions to an image, or when I add credits at the end of my video. Finally, when ready to share your video, go to Save Movie right here. You'll see a list of options and standard definition is usually your best bet unless you need a very small or a very large file. Once you click and save, your project will render and you're ready to go. The larger your video file is, the longer this rendering process will take. If you're working with a lot of media and a lot of high definition video and images, plan to give this some time. While there are many more tools to use in, in Movie Maker Live, this tutorial should at least get you started. Thanks for watching.